So 10 and 3. Let's see how we get on. All right, so they've gone for the small pawn maneuver. Let's see if we can open up the center. Okay, well, I've not seen this for a while. Let's just take this pawn. And let's take the queen off the board. With a check. Let's take the pawn, attacking the bishop, attacking the pawn. Bishop comes back to defend. Attack the bishop. Attack the bishop. Yeah, I've not seen this one for ages. All depends on how the opponent reacts. Um, but yeah, I've not seen this one for a while. So then we'll sit back and have a look at the position, etc. We've got the opening, the starter out of the way. We're still focused on the answer process, even from the start. Can we put pressure towards the king or the king area? So he's coming to defend. Just going to simplify and just capture. So they may get the pawn. Shall we just bring the knight back to a safe haven here? So it's not over. It's plus one. But that doesn't mean anything. Developing the piece is probably more key. Let's attack this pawn here. Probably the bishop is going for an exchange. Isolated pawn in the center is not going to work. So maybe they're not going to do that. They might just push the pawn. But we're trying to develop our pieces. Simple stuff. We've managed the center. So now we're trying to sort of manage around the center. They have done isolated pawn in the center. Might not work, but let's get this knight up. And there's no rush. I'm moving a little bit quick. It's because I've not seen this one for a while. And it's um, queenside castling. Potential for attacking the knight, etc. And then taking here and bringing the rook here, putting pressure on the king. So let's slow down and just have a look at the game and see what's happening. I think they're going to be wanting to get the knight out, so they're linking the rooks up. So stopping the knight from coming here, so they're a bit fearful of that. And what did we say we were going to do? We're just going to drop the knight in and attack the knight here. Doesn't have to take. But then after that, we would have got the rook if he hadn't done that. So we're going to take with the pawn, put a check on, make space for the rook, attacking the king. All right, so let's... Da -da -da -da. Yeah, bring the rook across. Knight's going to want to get out, but it looks a little bit jam oh, excuse me, jammed in at the moment. Pawn's jamming this square. Our rook can come and sit here, so we can look to double up. Knight's got a nice square here. So there's a bit of act... Oh, trade down. Do we trade down or not? It's going to be a draw. We don't want to draw, do we? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I was looking at doing fancy business. Okay, let's go here. Do we bring the knight up first? Let's bring the knight up first. And then get the check in. Obviously the knight's coming here because he wants to get that, he needs to get that rook in the game. This can turn out to be a draw quite easily. We're only plus one and we've got the same, same material. Both got a knight and a rook. They've got the isolated pawn in the center and that'd be a shocker if that actually got to be their advantage. But as I said at the beginning, normally isolated pawns, they don't sort of fare too well. Let's get the check on the king. So we're just storing that up. Knights, this is a nice square for the knight, I think as well. But I think the king's coming here to protect this pawn. If it goes the other way, it's a fork, so we would get it for free, most definitely. Yeah, okay. And anything else? No, let's just bring the knight here. We like this position. Bit like the other game, it's the, the only piece really that can take it from this is the knight. 
So probably looking like doing something like this, but I think they'll come through here first, x-raying through to our rook. Luckily, the pawn is protecting the knight, so that's a saving grace, because the knight does have this type of stuff. So I think the rook's coming here first with the idea of putting like some attacks on, on the knight. Yep. Yeah. Right, so let's have a look. The knight does have a check on his king, but the pawn can take the knight. Which is a shame, you know, just thinking arty. Knight does have a check on the king, but the rook can just take. So all the artiness is out of the way. So we could push the pawn looking to protect the knight even more. Or just move our king simply across just to protect the rook. Because we know that the knight is coming across here. Let's do that. Just keep it real simple. We don't need to get arty at all in any way, shape. Oh, they're not going for any style. Hmm. They're not going for any style. It gives us time to move the knight, attacking the rook. And then, obviously, if the rook takes, then the king can take. They'll be looking to try and get rid of ours. So I'm going to bring the knight across, attacking the rook. And just take if they take with the rook, with the king. Don't like backward movements of the king, though. He kind of lose a bit of tempo. I'm not too sure. Don't want to trap my knight, but the knight has this safe haven here, which is a brilliant square, I think, for the knight. Just bearing in mind, they do have their own knight as well. There might be a combination where they get this pawn off, so we might need to start looking to support this pawn structure that we've got going here. Yeah, he's already going for the attacking and he's stopping this pawn. So I'm going to bring this pawn here stopping his knight and then bring this pawn here to support this is that this is delicate play which you know I, I don't really you can lose tempo and all sorts of stuff and then they win by just one one wrong maneuver with the king coming down no okay so if he's looking to take that this is this will replicate anyway so where's my king wanting to go? It, wants to, it needs to get into the game, doesn't it? So let's push up. Our knight has always got this square here. So should we be moving it? We've got this square, I could attack here, but he's gonna defend. So let's get the king up, like we said, maybe to this feels like the magic square because touching here takes, takes. Let's get to the magic square and see if we, it doesn't have to take, you know, we take and it's got like doubled pawns and this knight stays there forever. So conscious I'm moving too fast again, but I'm not seeing that they're doing too much to cause. Let's hit the knight and the pawn. Do they take or do they just leave it? Do they, does the knight just come around? Does take does that give us a bit of well maybe not because his knight is still protecting here but the knight is under threat now we can squeeze the king across actually and attack but then he just pushes the pawn so if we bring the king into the game a bit more maybe we can support this pawn going to get promoted So this is a bit tense now because we are very fearful of knights. We know how powerful they are. Right, so it's kind of stopping my king from moving further up, which is a bit of a situation. And I don't want, he's gonna come down and get these pawns. Does he win out in terms of movement? <laughs> Put a check on the king. King comes back for the knight. 
I'm going to put a check just to let him know, look, we're in the party here. But also, it makes space here, but he's going to come back, so I'm going to have to move the knight again. Probably back to the same position, which is a bit annoying, really. All right, so... King can't come on support, as we know. Can take his knight off the board, which is a good thing, because now we've got elevated pawn, and we can take this pawn. We can't go any further though, let's just do this. So that seemed to work out fairly okay. And these pawns now are just going to get jammed down. And we have a pawn majority on this side. And let's just push. And we can... What is the actual magic move? Let's push here. I don't think there's any magic move here. It's just a matter of we can just push this pawn up and get the king concentrated on that and then bring our king across and take some of these pawns off here. So I don't think there's any great shakes. I think it's done really. Let's push onto this pawn here and let's take. So I'll try to give them some more things to think about rather than just this center pawn being pushed. So I'll probably resign at this point. And yes, as we said, 